Hello Inklings, I'm Bianca and welcome back to my channel. I'd like to begin by showing respect to and acknowledging the Wajik Noongar people, elders past and present, the traditional owners and custodians of the land I'm filming this video on today. I've been putting off filming this haul, honestly, because hauls are a lot of effort and this is quite a big one. So this is partly why I'm not going to be buying a lot of books in 2021 because of how crazy I went in 2020. I was also sad and I tend to buy things when I'm sad. So there we go. Let's get into the haul. I think I'm going to go by age range. So I'm going to start with adult books. First up, one of the most hyped books of the year, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. So this has kind of um, paranormal romance aspects and also historical romance. They are dual timelines. I have read this book and really, really enjoyed it. Then To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini. I bought this because I loved The Inheritance Cycle growing up. And when I heard he was bringing out another book, I had to get it. This is a science fiction. Don't really know what the story is about. Just bought it for the author. The Hena Artist by Acacia Joshi. This I bought because Reese Witherspoon said it was good. That's pretty much it. This is a historical fiction and honestly it looks amazing and I don't think I have disliked any of the books that Reese Witherspoon has picked for her book club so I trust her judgment. The Once and Future Witches by Alex E. Harrow. I read 10,000 Doors of January by the same author I think last year. I really enjoyed it so that is why I have purchased this one. I believe this is also historical fiction, um, maybe some fantasy elements because they are clearly witches. I do also have a few that I don't really know that much about. Family for Beginners by Sarah Morgan. I bought this one because Desi from Darling Desi mentioned this in her video where she was talking about books that remind her of Beale like Gilmore Girls. So that's why I bought this one. I think this is a contemporary novel. Paris Never Leaves You by Ellen Feldman. This is another historical fiction. I was in a very historical fiction-y mood when I was in the bookshop one day, so that is why I purchased quite a few of them. Then The Cake Maker's Wish by Josephine Moon. I believe this is a contemporary and pre-booktube and pre-social media, I used to walk into a bookshop and just buy something if it called out to me. So on this day, I tried doing this with a few books and this is one of them that I picked up. Then The Pearl Thief by Fiona McIntosh. This is a historical fiction and that is all I know. Once again, I just picked this one up for the hell of it. The Queen's Gambit by Walter Tevis. I bought this one because I watched the TV show on Netflix and loved it. Like I am obsessed with this show. So when I heard there was a book, I needed to buy it. It wasn't a want, it was a need. The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I do hope I do own her other novel, uh, The Starless Sea, so I wanted to pick this one up. This one is fantasy and it's about a circus. I love stories like that, so I had to pick it up. I have actually been wanting to read this book since it was released a very long time ago, but I never owned it and I never got around to it, so I'm quite happy that I finally own this book. Homework by Julia Andrews. This is one of her memoirs slash autobiographies. This particular one is about her time in Hollywood. I adore Julie Andrews. She is one of my idols. So when I saw her face, I had to purchase it. The Lost Flowers of Alice Hart by Holly Ringland. I bought this 90% for the cover and 50% because it talks about the language of flowers. And this is one of the things I am really, really interested in. So I bought it. Postscript by Cecilia O'Hearn. This is the sequel to P.S. I Love You. I'm guessing they're both romance contemporaries. And yeah, I bought it because it's the sequel. I own the first one and I wanted them to match. 
Then A Dog's Perfect Christmas by W. Bruce Cameron. This was gifted to me for Christmas by some of my students and it looks super cute. I really enjoyed, well, I mostly cried, but I did enjoy the movie of A Dog's Purpose and I believe this is by the same author. Okay, these are all the adult books so far. Let's move on to New Adult. Don't have very many of those. They're also not really classified that much. So first up is The Secrets of the Starcrossed, which is the first physical arc I received. And I cried, honestly, when this came in the mail, I cried. I was so happy and I have read this book. I really enjoyed it. I also have the Netgalley arc of the sequel, so I'm excited to get to that. But this is kind of a, a book set in an alternate future so i don't know if it's dystopian but it's basically if some things in history went differently what would our current day be like and there is magic as well so kind of fantasy science fiction -y, alternate history a lot going on but i did enjoy it i don't really know what to say I have not finished a Sarah J Maas book before, but I did purchase House of Earth and Blood by her for the hype. Honestly, this is just because I have seen it all over booktube and I kind of want to film a reading vlog for it. So that is why this is in my possession. Those were the two new adult books. Now we're moving over to young adult. <laughs> Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. You may be saying, Bianca, you already own Little Women. I know that. So I gave my other copy to my sister because she likes that one more than I do. And I really love this movie edition. We watched the movie together and I'm obsessed with it. Honestly, it is stunning. So when I saw this one, I had to purchase it. It also has some some pictures from the movie and I think this is just a lovely keepsake. I do want to read this soon. This is one of my mother's favorite novels. I have started it multiple times but I never seem to finish it for some reason. Not because I wasn't enjoying it, I just had too many other things going on so I never finished it but I'm going to attempt to make this a priority this year. Then I have some books by Zoe Suck. The first one the Magpie Society, One for Sorrow, which she co-wrote with Amy McCullough. So they each have a character um, whose perspective they're writing from and the book alternates. This is a thriller and I have read it. I buddy read it with Leia. We were both slightly disappointed by the story, but we enjoyed the writing and we will be reading the next books in the series though. So I do hope it improves. Then, soon after purchasing that, I felt in the mood to reread the Girl Online trilogy. I have listened to the audiobooks before, I've never read them physically, so I really wanted to own them. And they were on sale, so that's why I got them. This is a contemporary series about a blogger, which is probably why I enjoyed it so much, because I also do blog. So first up we have Girl Online then Girl Online on tour, and lastly, Girl Online going solo. I also love the colours of these books. I don't own many contemporaries, but I love how colourful they are. I found this box set of the Folk of the Air trilogy, and I had to buy it. This is a... I think it's fantasy or urban fantasy, not too sure. I just know there are fairies in this. I really enjoyed the Spiderwick Chronicles, which uh, Holly Black co-wrote with, I think his name is Tony something, can't remember, but I did enjoy the Spiderwick Chronicles growing up, so I do still want to read Holly Black's other works. I think I read a couple of her other fairy tale books in high school, but I didn't really understand them, like Tithe, and I can't remember what the others are, but I do really want to read this. I've heard a lot of mixed things about it but there are fairies in it and I am a sucker for fairies. So I bought this and the companion novel, um, How the King of Alfheim Learned to Hate Stories. And this is a beautiful book. It has a lot of illustrations. 
Then I purchased a box set, well, a slipcase. This isn't, isn't really a box. Of the To All The Boys I've Loved Before trilogy by Jenny Han. This is another trilogy that I have already read, but I do want to own my own copies of it because I loved it so much. I especially love the first movie. This is a contemporary trilogy. Actually, I did want to read them before the third movie came out, but I was unsuccessful, but I will be rereading them at some point this year. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. This is the prequel to The Hunger Games. I love The Hunger Games. I read them, I think I read each of them in one sitting when I was in high school and I remember I was eating pizza and reading them on my Kindle, having an amazing time. So when this one was announced, I was super excited, but I'm scared to read it. There are so many mixed reviews, but I think I'm just going to have to bite the bullet at some point and read it and make up my own mind about things. I don't know which book was the most hyped this year. This one, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes or Crescent City or Chain of Gold. Those books were so hyped and this caused a buzz. Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. This is Twilight from Edward's perspective. So it is paranormal romance and... I am kind of looking forward to reading this, not going to lie. I reread the Twilight series at the beginning of 2020 and really enjoyed it. I had an amazing time, so I think a year later is a good time to read Midnight Sun. Then a cover by because of the shiny. The Book of Hidden Wonders by Polly Crosby. No idea what this is about. It just says book on the cover and there are stars and it is shiny and this is like literally why I bought this book. It says hidden in the pages of the book a secret story. I'm a bookworm, I love books, so I love books about books. And another one, the book Thief, another book about books. I've never read this, I have heard amazing things about it. I th think this is kind of more a classic. It's historical fiction and I can't wait to read it. Okay, now we get to our last category middle grade. There aren't too many. Don't worry, we're nearly done. First up, Holopox by Jessica Townsend. This is fantasy, the third book in the Nevermore trilogy. Well, it's not a trilogy. There are more books coming out. So the third book in the Nevermore series. I have read all of them and absolutely love it. I can't remember the last time I adored a middle grade series this much but it makes me so so happy and I love this world and I think it will appeal to all ages. I really really love this world so much. Then The Winterborn Home for Vengeance and Valor by Ali Carter. Growing up I really really loved the Gallagher Girls series by Ali Carter which is about teenage spies who does not love that. So when I saw she wrote a middle grade book and it had this amazing cover I had to buy it. I'm not too sure if this is only contemporary or if it has fantastical elements in it, but I haven't read a fantasy by Ali Carter, so I think this might be contemporary. The first three books in the Pages and Co series, so we have Tilly and the Book Wanderers, Tilly and the Lost Fairy Tales, and Tilly and the Map of Stories. So I believe this is about a little girl who can travel into books, that's the impression I get, and I bought these because they are hardcover and this was an amazing price for hardcover books and they are so cute on the inside. They have the cutest little covers. So once again, a bookworm. I can't resist if there is a book about books. So why not have three? And that is all. Hopefully I don't go crazy again in 2021. I've been really good so far. I've not bought any novels except for one that I pre-ordered but shh, that's the exception. <laughs> I'm going to try to not buy so many books this year. I really don't have the space for them and I want to read all of the books I have stress bought. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Keep thinking inklings. Bye!